Hello everybody, this is Lane's Law. Um, basically our structure here of a set of magnets at the bottom. This is a north pole facing up through a core. Uh, my core is currently made of small steel wire uh, cut to lengths. There's roughly about 800 of them all taped together. Um, this is the coil. There's about 600 turns on the coil. Uh, connected through a wire and connected back on itself. Um, so at the moment I have ends tied on the coil indicating a load um, and this is Lenz Law. Lenz Law states the magnetic field generated in a coil opposes the magnetic field that generated it in the first place. So from here if I drop the coil, it drops nice and smoothly. Okay. So ends untied. tight again and it drops quite slowly. Uh, so there's a couple of questions in this configuration which is a fairly conventional configuration. We can see Lang's Law quite a lot. Now the first question that pops into my mind is first of all can we exaggerate Lang's Law and second of all can we negate it? Turns out we can do both. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I have another set of permanent magnets here uh, and at this stage we're going to put them in opposition so that basically means that two north poles are opposing each other uh, and two north poles meeting each other in the middle coil tied, ends tied and you can see here there's a dr dramatic increase probably a bit more than even double in the coil drops much slower so um, with the permanent magnets on the top, we can increase it. How do we decrease it? We flip the permanent magnets over. So at this stage they're in attraction mode. So the north pole coming up has the south pole coming down from these magnets and they're in essentially in attraction mode. Uh, now this is very interesting. No lens law. Drops as if no load on the coil at all, but we can see there's a load and it's tied. No lens law. So we can increase it, we can reduce it. The next question is if it's reduced, can we still generate an EMF out the coil? And it turns out we can. So on our scope, and you can see there. There's quite a nice wave generated on the scope there. So Lang's Law. It's a brilliant law. It's quite confusing unless you do a few experiments with it, but uh, it's, it's, it's a very interesting law.